Welcome back to another Roblox Studio tutorial. In today's video, we're going to do an introduction into Teams. And as much as it pains me to say this, there's going to be no scripting in this video. You heard me right, no scripting. So this will just be a basic introduction in how to set up Teams and how to change Teams based on a part touch. All right, so let's go ahead and dive in and see how we can do this in Roblox Studio. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to be using four different spawn locations, one for each team, and then a general spawn location. So I'm going to have three different teams. I'm going to have a red team, a yellow team, and a green team. To insert these spawn locations, you can just go to the model tab and then click on spawn. If you're going to have more than three teams, just add more spawn locations. After you insert all your spawn locations, you can go ahead and pick a color for the ones you're using as your team spawns. To do that, you can just click on the spawn location. And then in the properties menu for brick color, you're going to select this here and choose a color for it. The next thing we're going to do is check to see if you have a Teams folder already in your Explorer menu. If you don't have the Explorer menu, you can find that under the View tab and then click on Explorer. If you don't have properties, go ahead and click on that one as well. If you don't see this Teams folder already in the Explorer menu, it's really easy to add. All you're going to do is go to the Model tab. Go ahead and click on Services right here. And then in this menu here, you should see the Teams folder. Just as an example, I open up a different base plate, and we can see here that I don't have the Teams folder already in the Explorer menu. So like I said, to add that, I'm just going to go to Model, click on Service, and then click on Teams right here. After you click on it, you're just going to press Insert, and then it should insert it inside the Explorer menu for you. The next step is going to be inserting your Teams inside this folder here. So to do that, you can just click on the plus sign, and then click on Team. Once you do that, it's going to insert a Team into this folder. There's a few properties of this team that we probably want to change. The first thing is going to be the name. So you can go ahead and select whatever name you want for this team. So there we go. I just called it new team. And then you can also select your team color. This part is going to be important because we're going to go back to the spawn locations and match it to the team color we choose here. So to choose a team color, you can just click on this part right here and choose whichever one you want to. Just remember which one you select because we're going to go back to it on the spawn location. And before we move on to the spawn locations to finish up the team setup, there's one more property we have to make sure we unselect for each of these. So for each of these teams here, for noob, for not terrible, and pro, we want to unselect auto assignable. And we only want to leave that option on for the spawn. If you leave that option on, then whenever a player joins the game, it's going to put them in whichever team has the least number of players. So since we want the players to only spawn on the spawn location, we're going to deselect that option for our regular teams and only leave it on for our spawn team. All right, so to finish the team setup, we're gonna go back to the spawn location. So let's go and start with the red team. So for the spawn location, I'm gonna scroll all the way down to the team section. For the team section, I'm going to allow team change. So I'm gonna select this box here, and then I'm going to unselect neutral. For the team color, I wanna match it to whatever I set for the team. For noob, I set that to really red. So I wanna make sure for the corresponding spawn location, I set the team property to the same color. So this one here is for the not terrible team. So just double checking the team color, I wanna make sure this color here is the same as what I have for the spawn. So down for the spawn location, I just wanna make sure that color matches. Okay, and we're gonna do the same for the last one. So that's my pro team. It's going to be a team color of lime green, and that's what I have set for the team color down here. The actual brick color doesn't really matter, but it's just nice to keep it the same color as your team. All right, and that's all we have to do for setup. So let's go ahead and go into the game and check it out. Okay, so since the spawn location was the only one set to auto assign, my players start here. Whenever they touch the next spawn location, they're going to change that team. So right now I'm on the noob team. Whenever I touch the not terrible, I get moved into that one. And finally, I move up to pro. The order that you see the teams in the leaderboard depends on when you insert the teams into the folder. So if for some reason, they're not in the order you want to. Let me go ahead and show you how to fix that. So if your teams are not in the correct order, what you're going to do is just go ahead and drag them all out. So I'm just going to select them all and move them into a different folder. It doesn't really matter where you put them, so I just put them in the folder above it. And then what you want to do next is drag them back into the Teams folder in the order that you want them to appear. So the first one that you drag in is going to be at the top. So I want that one to be Spawn. After that, I'm going to have Noob. And then I'm going to do Not Terrible and Pro. If for some reason I want that in reverse order, I can do that too. So I'm just going to drag them all out. Let's say I want pro at the top. I'm going to drag that one in first. And then I'm going to have not terrible, and then noob, and then spawn. So this will be the reverse order. So spawn is going to be at the bottom now, and pro will be at the top. Let's go ahead and go in the game and see how that looks. 
Okay, and now you can see that it's the exact opposite. I have spawn at the bottom and pros at the top, but it still works the same. So as soon as the player touches the part, they change team color. All right, so that's going to be it for this video. This is going to be my first and last video without any scripting. So I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for the next one.